Hi, I'm Victor. In this video, I am going to show how to sign in and sign out to Google Classroom using Android phone. Let's begin! First is to go to Play Store to download the mobile app. In the search box, type Google Classroom. Select Google Classroom in the result page, then tap the Install button. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, tap Open button. You will be directed to the Google Classroom application. Tap the Get Started button. If the email address to be used in your Google Classroom is already registered in your phone, just simply select it and follow the on-screen steps. For my demo today, I am going to show the process on how to sign in to your Google Classroom if your email address is not in the list of registered email address in your phone. Now, let's sign in. Select the Add Account option and tap OK. Wait for your Android phone to check information. Then, enter your device's password if asked. Enter your email address and password. Input two-step verification if asked. What is this two-step verification? If you have turned on your additional authentication of your email, you will receive six-digit verification every time you log in your email to your device. The two-step verification will be sent to your registered phone number. Next is to read the Google Terms of Service, then tap I Agree button. Wait for your phone to finish checking your information and put your credentials to the Google Classroom Android app. As you can see, I have successfully logged in my email to the mobile application and I can see my enrolled and created Google Classes. Now, how do we log out our email to the Google Classroom app from our Android phone? In Google Classroom app screen, select the three-bar symbol on the upper left corner. Select the drop-down arrow beside your name and email address. Then choose the Manage Accounts on this device option. You will be directed to the settings of your phone. Go to Users and Accounts, then find and select Google. On the next page, select the email address you used in your Google Classroom. On the Sync Settings page, tap the Remove option at the bottom. Confirm that you want to remove it by tapping the Remove option in the pop-up box. Take note that removing the account will delete all of its messages, contacts, and other data from the phone. After removing your account, you will be signed out from the Google Classroom. That's how we sign in and sign out from Google Classroom app in Android phone. Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Please consider liking and sharing this video too. Again, this is Victor. Thank you all for watching.